Good morning, my darlings. <laughs> Another vlog starting in my fitness attire. No prizes for guessing where I am heading after I finish this morning's coffee. <clears throat> I can't remember if I said it on a vlog or if it was on some Instagram stories, but I am just in such a great place at the moment when it comes to working out. I'm doing something every single day, whether it's a stretch or a Pilates or a bar or a cardio workout. And I feel really good. If you watched my um, intentions for 2022 video, one of the main things was uh, working a bit less, but creating more time for things that I want to do and that nourish myself, whether that's eating a little bit more healthily, um, looking after my body with workouts and doing these workouts every morning is just making me feel really good. And I think looking back over the last two years since we lived here, in this house, there's just always something to do, whether it's cleaning <laughs> or like organizing something. Work-wise, when you're self-employed, there's always something else you can be doing. So I guess I prioritized that over myself in the past couple of years. So I'm being a bit more selfish and well, that shouldn't even be a thing. I'm just prioritizing doing a bit of doing a bit of working out, getting my body moving and taking that time for myself in the mornings. Um, so yeah, in a really good place with workouts. I do find <laughs> that having a really cute little workout set does always inspire me. So this is a set that you'll have seen a couple of vlogs ago from Sweaty Betty. I do feel like a My Little Pony <laughs> in these colors, but the colors are really fun, pastel, getting me in the mood for spring and I think what I'm going to do this morning, I, f I do have quite a bit of energy so I think I'm going to do a cardio bar class which is something that I only discovered on the Vaha about two weeks ago. It's basically everything that I love about bar, so it's really toning, it's small repetitive exercises, but they're a lot more fast moving, so I feel like I get my heart rate up and I get a cardio workout and a bar workout all in one, which is fantastic. I've been using the Vaha now for, gosh, six to eight weeks, and I'm sure you guys can tell from the vlogs, I'm just absolutely in love with it. I did post a, a question box on my Instagram stories about it a couple of days ago and did receive quite a few questions. So I thought I'm gonna take you guys to the gym with me this morning, show you the Vaha in a little bit more detail, explain why I'm just absolutely obsessed with it, and um, yeah, go through a few more of your questions. So let's grab my hoodie and head to the gym. <sighs> my goodness. <laughs> absolutely freezing in the gym this morning. I need to get moving <clears throat> so that I warm myself up, but you are currently being vlogged in the reflection of my Vaha. So here it is. Essentially, when it's switched off, it just looks like a beautiful mirror. I've got the larger version. There is a smaller version as well, and you can wall mount them as well. I personally like the fact that we can move it around, um, so ours is just on the little legs. And if I turn this on, you can see within the Vaha, you have got so many different types of exercises. And for me, I think that is one of the reasons why I've been really excited to come in and do this every morning because of the breadth and all the different kinds of exercises all within one piece of equipment. It's not like one bit of equipment only enables you to do one type of exercise, if that makes sense. So whatever mood you're in that morning, you can come and do that kind of exercise. Um, so if I'm totally honest, my exercises on the Vaha are very much skewed towards these two classes here. So the bar and the Pilates. I have got a few favorite instructors. I love Natty, I love Sammy, and I also love Nikolai. If I want to do something a little bit more high energy, a little bit more movement, then I've been doing Nikolai's classes. But if I want to really like tone and sculpt, then Natty's classes are fantastic for that. Something else that's really fantastic about this is that you can join live classes. So if I click on here, you've got essentially your calendar. These are the classes that are going to be running today. So what time is it now? Um, 20 past nine. I didn't sleep very well last night. I actually was awake from 2 a.m. until 5 a.m. I don't know why. So a little bit later starting than usual. But we have got a 
an encore, which is basically, it's not exactly live, um, it's already been filmed, it's already been done, but a group of you will join at that class at 9.30 a.m., which is such a fantastic idea. Um, and then we've got a fat burn cardio at midday. We've got an upper body. Oh, I've actually not done this chap, Nick. I've not done any of his classes before. At six, we've got a beginner yoga at seven. A meditating focus. Oh, I've never done meditating on here before. There's so much still that I need to experiment with, even though I've had this for a couple of months and I feel like I've been using it so, so often. There's still so much to discover on here. Um, so you can scroll through the days of the month and see what classes you want to join. Or, of course, once a class has gone live, it's then stored in the library and you can come back and join the classes at any time, which is just super convenient. You don't need to leave your house. You don't need to be stuck to any particular schedule. You can just join a class whenever you want to. You can sort them by level. You can sort them by duration. So sometimes, for example, if I have only got a certain amount of time in the mornings, then I can click 15 to 30 minutes and I can get lots of 20 minute classes, 25 minute classes. You can also join programs, which is amazing. So if you want the motivation of like a set program, then there's loads of pre-designed programs within here. One of the questions that I got when I posted on my Instagram stories yesterday was, how does it differ from, say, doing a workout class from YouTube? And not only is it the fact, mostly the fact that I just love doing my workouts in the reflection of the Vaha, I'll show you in a second, but because they're all filmed on dark backgrounds, you can really clearly see the instructor, and also it's like you're doing the workout in a mirror, so you can really clearly clearly see your form as well. But also, unlike just picking a workout from YouTube, for example, it tracks your progress, you can join these clip programs, You've got the continuity. You can also book personal training sessions on your Vaha and they can design a schedule for you. I just think it's incredible and I'm so excited to see Vaha grow and the community grow. There's an app as well where you can track your progress. <laughs> so you could wake up in the morning and see which live classes are going on um, or you can choose from the on-demand classes. You can do all of that in your app. You can book PT sessions and then you can chat with your PT Oh, you can see what classes are new. There's just loads going on on the app. So if you love app-based fitness, then you've basically got everything you need here. I think because I've got energy, I'm going to do a Nikolai class. So you can see when you click on it, um, how long the class is going to be, and you can see what equipment you're going to need. It is a super bright day <laughs> behind me. So this shows how clearly you can still see all the text on the screen. But then if I start the class, you'll see. Down towards the mat. While we're doing this, we're really keeping that belly button tightly pulled in towards your spine. And stand on your right, get down, lift, and down. Now, can we try to really extend that side leg? Pull up on your supporting leg. So your right butt cheek, your supporting side butt cheek is squeezing up. Lift, good. Go! 
goodness. Nikolai always leaves me completely out of breath <laughs> from a cardio bar session. It's a full body workout. I feel like I've done abs. I've definitely done glutes. I've done a lot of legs. So now I get the chance to rate the session. How hard was it? Well, it was only 20 minutes, so I'm not gonna give it the full whack. Love Nikolai, so I'll give him five star. And then you get to see here which muscles you worked out, which is really helpful. Oh, excuse my out of breathness. Um, but if I wanted to, what I could do now is click over to the stretching section and do a 10 or 20 minute stretch or some yoga on Sunday. Charlie and I both did a yoga class on here. There's just <laughs> so many different things that you could do, but for now, I am going to switch off and get into the shower because we have got a few meetings at Soho Farmhouse today. So I need to get myself ready. And I've got a couple of little errands that I need to run this morning before that as well. My gosh, it is such a beautiful day today. And it's actually so mild as well. It really feels like spring is on its way. Can't wait until our borders start to bloom again. Not many signs of life just yet. But it won't be long. Okay, so I'm just about to hop in the shower and I'm going to be taking in some fresh out the tumble dryer towels from Linen Bundle. I can't actually remember if it was on YouTube or on Instagram stories that I was raving about these lately. I apologize if this is a repeat, um, but just to say that my discount code, which is 45 Mumbler, I believe, or Mumbler 45, um, is still active on Linen Bundle. And these are the sheets that we have freshly ironed on our Super King bed in the bedroom. And I've just ordered a couple more pillowcases from them as well. This is the cream shade and you can see the comparison to the blanket underneath. It's just a little bit more of a kind of natural color and it's a really high quality cotton so you get a little bit of a sheen to it. You can see it's just got a little bit of a sheen and it irons really really well so this has become my favorite bed linen um, set of choice and then the towels even though these have been through the tumble dryer a couple of times they are just so so soft. Really good value when you buy them in the bundle so I bought the bundle. With literally the softest towels that I've ever experienced so I thought I would let you know the discount code is still active if you want to top up on bed linen or get some gorgeous quality towels at a really good price because for me a soft towel is an essential <laughs> and it just makes the whole experience so much better so yeah I'll leave these linked down below Okay, freshly showered and ready to head to the farmhouse for today's meetings. I have just popped on a super duper cozy outfit. This is a lovely... Now, do you call this cable knit? I think I'm pretty sure this <laughs> is cable knit. Uh, gorgeously soft and cozy and warm jumper from Francis Stories. It's really snuggly. Of course, I have got a thermal on underneath. I'm trying to get more wear out of these Burberry leggings. I bought them... Oh, gosh... Did I live in this house or was it before we even moved? I've had them for a long time, um, but I don't wear them as much as I should. So I'm trying to get as much wear out of these as possible. And then fairly comfy boots for driving because I have to take the old Defender out with me today because Charlie is already out and about in the new Defender. I will probably pop on a barber jacket to complete the look and I've also just been popping together this care package which I'm going to be dropping off for a lady that lives not too far away from us who's um, going through a bit of a tough time at the moment so I've put together a really nice little care package for her with a mixture of things like um, supplements, some nice beauty products to hopefully cheer her up a little bit, some makeup, There's some nice fragrances in here so hopefully that will make her day so i'm going to drop that off on my way to the farmhouse okay <laughs> made it to the farmhouse which is a bigger achievement <laughs> than it might seem in this car i always work myself up so much for driving this car because am i moving i got a handbrake on <laughs> because it really is kind of like driving a spaceship. It's so um, sensorial, let's say, when you're driving it. I was probably going like maximum 55 miles an hour when, when coming down the lanes, but it's so rickety and so loud that it is 
quite the experience. You most definitely can't listen to the radio. I can't listen to a podcast because you just wouldn't be able to hear it. Um, it doesn't actually have a radio in this car, so the option's not there anyway, but I did think about putting a podcast on my phone, um, but there was absolutely no chance I'd be able to hear that, but we made it. Mission accomplished. I feel very um, comfortable driving manual now. But boy oh boy, does it make me appreciate <laughs> driving on New Defender because it's just a hundred million times easier. But yeah, it is an experience driving this car. What you may not have realised is that this car is actually a convertible. So this is a um, canvas roof, which just adds to the loudness <laughs> and the craziness when you're driving. But I can't wait for summer. I think from May to September we're just going to take the roof off and drive it completely convertible like a beach buggy um, and I think that'll be amazing. I always, I actually, my first ever car was a Peugeot 206cc which was actually a convertible. You've probably noticed I'm a bit of a poser. <laughs> so I do, I just love driving a convertible car so I can't wait to um, have some warmer weather. My first time at driving in Milo Eve gloves and they did the trick, kept my hands nice and warm. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely glorious. It's really sunny. It's not cold at all. I actually forgot to grab a coat, but I've got my thermal on. The jumper is nice and warm, so I don't think I'm gonna be cold at all. So I'm gonna find a nice spot, get on with some work, and my next meeting starts in an hour, so I've got plenty of time to do some emails before my meeting. And suddenly it is 4pm whenever I go to the farmhouse of course I try not to film much while I'm there um, so the vlogs are always a little bit fragmented for which I do apologise but we had a great meeting over lunch um, and then I had a call to hop on <laughs> pretty soon afterwards so didn't have time to get all the way home so I've just come to Strawtop Cottage. It's Tuesday so it is um, between guests at the moment so I've just had a call here at the cottage and it's just such good vibes here it always feels so homely like a little home from home I've said to Charlie in the past I would quite happily live here it's just you know when you go somewhere and instantly feel at home there and I love reading through the things that people leave in our guest books and that's a lot of, that's a recurring thing that people say is that it just feels so homely so yeah, I hope that lots of you will get to experience that over time. Oh, my battery's flashing. Did I bring a spare battery? Well, clearly I didn't have enough battery to even finish that sentence. Um, but back home again now, and I don't know why, but today I just feel so low energy. I think I've probably used my brain <laughs> a bit more today. Did you ever have it when you join back at school after a summer holiday or a Christmas holiday, that first day back? is always, oh I've got eye cream <laughs> everywhere, that first day back is always the toughest because you've not practiced using your brain for quite some time so maybe that's why I feel a bit mentally exhausted so I might just, it's only six o'clock so I might just start cooking some dinner um, in a very leisurely way and just stick some YouTube videos on. It's currently Tuesday and quite a few people upload on Tuesdays that I like to watch so um, yeah, I might just whack on a YouTube video. So I've just, as I normally do, I've taken my makeup off. As soon as I got home, I used um, a, what do you call it, face halo to take off the majority of my makeup. And then I'm just about to finish my second Beauty Pie Plant-tastic Apricot Butter Cleansing Balm. It's just absolutely gorgeous and really keeps my skin glowing and takes off any additional makeup that the face holo didn't take off and I find that those two are enough that's a perfect double cleanse and then because I'm not quite ready to do my evening skincare routine I'm just gonna apply a few squits, squits, squirts, <laughs> squirts, mists of the triple hyaluronic acid hydro plump dewy skin mist also from Beauty Pie. If my code Beauty Pie is still active. I will leave it on the screen here and link down below because I had an amazing offer with them last month. Um, and <laughs> Beauty Pie Hattrick, I have applied the Superdose Vitamin C 
brightening body lotion because it smells amazing and it really does just give your skin a nice glow and it's almost like a serum consistency so it's absorbed really quickly I like to apply it um, on my shins mostly and just on the lower half of my arms just to feel a bit more pampered so I've done all of that feeling good now Charlie and I have started re-watching The Mentalist <laughs> it's a program that we really really love um, and also, as I mentioned, we're watching Soy Georgina on Netflix. So I think I'm just going to stick something on in the background, do some cooking, and have a leisurely evening. Good morning, my darlings. Please excuse my un-blow-dried, un-anything hair, but this morning has been one of those mornings ever since I had my shower after my workout. It has been non-stop. I've had a lot of calls. That includes an hour and a half long call with our accountant. And I just find it all so beyond <laughs> what my brain is able to cope with. It's such intense information. Obviously, seriously important information as well. Um, and there's so many things which I just can't help but think, why did we not learn this in school? Like there's so much information about so many different kinds of taxes and I know nothing about it. What is going on in this car park? It's like a Piccadilly Circus. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually kind of melted my brain a little bit. Then I had a couple of other work calls with projects that I'm about to work on and now I'm heading to Haley's to get my nails done so at least I can switch off for an hour or so over my lunch break, which is great. And then this afternoon I'm taking Lala to hospital. She's having an operation on her eyes, um, so taking Lala to hospital later. We've also got the Nicholson's team at the house again this morning, which is amazing, really exciting, and we are kicking off the 2022 garden projects which are in two main phases the main big chunky phase which is going to be so exciting um is kicking off in springtime so not just yet that is the kitchen garden project which is just going to be so 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 very exciting and i can't wait to share the plans with you and i can't wait to share with you everything that we've got lined up for that but at the moment it is um Softworks. So Nicholson's have two teams. They have the Softworks team and they have the Hardworks team. Softworks is the fun stuff like the plants and the trees, um, you know, planting things. And Hardworks is when it's almost like a, a renovation. So if you if you were to do it in house terms, the soft works would be like the painting and the furniture, and the hard works would be building walls ripping out your bathroom and that kind of thing. So at the moment we've got the Softworks team in and they are planting more trees. We have put in this morning a new Quercus Ilex, which is a new home oak. And we've got Harry here at the moment who's really, really interesting, so knowledgeable. And whenever he's here, Charlie always spends hours and hours outside chatting with him and learning so much. Harry was saying again, that it's really great that we've got so many home oaks going in because they are one of the fastest or the fastest growing type of oak tree but they're also the only kind of evergreen oak tree and the reason why is because so the name Quercus ilex means holly oak so Quercus is oak I hope I've got this the right way around and ilex is holly so because it's that mix of holly and oak you can actually see on the leaves that they're a little bit holly shaped but then it would grow like an acorn for example the fact that they're two combined gives it basically the best properties of both so you get the really beautiful traditional British kind of look of an oak tree and the structure of an oak tree but you get the fact that it's evergreen um, and fast growing from a, oops, from a holly so I wasn't actually talking to the camera because I was busy chatting away to the Nicholson's guys but I did film a little clip which I'll pop in here. You can see on the left the 15 year old Quercus Ilex home oak going in in the corner um, and by comparison you might be able to see one of the home oaks that we put in last year behind it and that one's only about five years old so it gives you an idea of how quickly they grow. So that's great to see that garden projects are coming along. Um, Charlie gets very excited about trees. 
I get more excited about flowers <laughs> but that is all to come and I also spent about half an hour in bed on my phone this morning which is very naughty I need to get out of that habit but you guys have left me so many amazing recommendations and comments about our California trip so I wanted to say thank you for that so much information that you've so generously shared I didn't even consider how hot <laughs> Palm Springs will be in August. I think centigrade wide, uh, wise, it'll probably be like 40 degrees, which I personally just think is really uncomfortable. And we want to like do stuff like do hikes and exploring, and I just think it'll be too hot. So, loads of you said, Josie. I think you're going to prefer Northern California. So many people mentioned, I wanna say Monterey, or is it Montecito? Carmen, um, obviously so many recommendations for Napa Valley. A few of you have also so kindly sent me emails with even more in-depth recommendations and some of the hotels you have been sending are just spectacular and I've noted down so many. I'm going to be seeing what their availability is like, what their costs are like, so yeah basically thank you for being so generous with your information and it's certainly it has actually changed my thoughts on how we're going to structure the trip so I'm really really grateful but anyway I'm about to go on the really bumpy lanes so I will catch up with you later. Nails are done I'm just hovering outside our lane because there's a massive lorry down there and I'm waiting for him to get out of the way but I went for I, we actually used um, OPI polish this time and I've gone for a classic pink base coat it's not really focusing is it um and then some very cliche hearts in there um but i think they look rather gorgeous and the lorry oh my gosh oh i'm in the way okay made it back home that was fairly stressful <laughs> um so i have some lovely fabric samples to show you and these are potentials for window seats and curtains in our bedroom and as you can see we're going for a going for a green shade i think for the actual curtains we'll probably go for something a little bit more plain um, and then get a nice trim on them. This one's really lovely. It is a Clark and Clark fabric in the shade Highlander and then maybe something a little bit more patterned for the cushions. I think this is probably my favorite although I do love this texture and then I think these were Charlie's favorites over here a little bit a little bit more contemporary with a kind of diamondy pattern slightly more textured again curtain and seat combination. I think the others are a little bit cool toned but we have got some more samples coming so we're not going to make any final decisions yet but this is very much the vibe that we're going for. I've actually gone ahead and put my dressing gown on already because it's just one of those evenings I think I'm going to make myself a macaroni cheese and get snuggly and I'm just falling more and more in love with my nails <laughs> every time I look at them. I'm very much enjoying nail art at the moment and these little hearts are just so cute. So some deliveries that have arrived over the last couple of days. Um, I'm actually very excited about my Estrid subscription arriving because I was in need of some new razor heads. You might remember I worked with Estrid, was it last year or the year before? But I've been a customer ever since um, and actually before I started working with them and it's just a so much more sustainable and also luxurious way of um, having a razor because you essentially get this, in fact let me show you, fresh from the shower. So basically when you first sign up you get a box through the letterbox and you get this, um, it's not even plastic, it's like a metal razor body. It's just so much more attractive than like a typical razor. And then instead of having to go through so many different plastic boxes and packaging, everything comes in cardboard or in this little paper pouch. This is my every, f uh, how often do I get this? Like every two months I get a top up. This just comes through the letterbox and it's yeah way less plastic i think it's far more beautiful and it's actually a vegan razor as well because so many razors have um i think it's gelatine animal fats in this bit and estrid doesn't so i absolutely love them so that's my little top up from estrid i have received i think this is a mascara new mascara from ysl Ooh, a nice big thick bristly brush i'll give that a try tomorrow very very sleek packaging kind of matches my ysl sunglasses next is a top up of the ageless range from bare minerals i have one of these up in my dressing room and i use it every morning 
It's all focused on slightly more natural anti-aging. So they use a plant-based retinol, for example, in the skincare products. And yeah, phytoretinol lip mask and anti-aging lip balm, which I think is a great idea. Bare Minerals, I would love you to do an anti-aging um, hand cream as well. I think that's such a, an overlooked area. And also, if you could put SPF in it, that would be even better. Also, speaking of hand cream, SPF, and getting your nails done, Luckily where I go, the um, lamp is actually LED, so you don't need to worry about it. But if you go and get your nails done with gels and the lamp is UV, you should, even though it's very mild, you should put um, some kind of SPF on the backs of your hands just to be on the safe side, according to my lady at the Mole Clinic. Um, and Bare Minerals also popped in this headband, which is very useful when you're doing your skincare. This very lovely delivery from Majuri. Let's see what's in here. Is it chocolates or is it jewellery? Ooh. Not like your other pearls. We all know what a huge fan of pearl jewellery I am. To me, from me. Oh my goodness. How gorgeous. Just these really simple, elegant, kind of chunky hoops with a pearl on. That is absolutely lovely. I love that my nails literally match everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, how gorgeous. Just a really classic pearl necklace with this T-bar clasp. How lovely. If I wasn't in my pyjamas now, I would style this up for you. But no doubt you'll see that in upcoming videos. Such a lovely delivery. Thank you to Majuri. And then, I don't know what's in here from Charlotte Tilbury. Limitless Lucky Lips. Now in new shades. Which will you fall for? Ooh. The perfect gift for Valentine's Day. Oh, that looks nice. Spice Bloom, Rose Hope. How gorgeous. What makes it so magic? Light as air feel, 16 hours transfer proof, reduces the appearance of vertical lip lines. Interesting. What gorgeous packaging. Oh my gosh, they look so lovely. This one is Everlasting Blossom. I always open them from the bottom so I don't have to dislodge the sticker much easier when you're trying to show things one-handed. And these are such petite little bullets. They're really handy for keeping in your handbag. Actually, I think my mum will like that color. I'm gonna take that over for her. And finally, this lovely delivery from Needle and Thread. And it is this absolutely gorgeous, I think this is a big chunky cardigan. What an absolutely gorgeous color. It is so soft as well, absolutely gorgeous. I love this cable knit pattern. Beautiful detail on the buttons. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I love a long cardigan as well, especially, I need to finish taking these off. <gasps> Scallop detail, that is so pretty. I love wearing long cardigans over leggings. It's just the perfect relaxing, working from home kind of outfit. Definitely going to wear that tomorrow and I'm sure I can wear a thermal underneath it as well. And then what we know and love needle and thread for the most, this beautiful dress. This looks like it's got the most gorgeous detail on the bodice. They really do the most spectacular designs. Look at this. And I think this one is a midi length as well, so it should be a really nice length on me. How gorgeous. Hopefully I have some nice spring soirees I can wear this to. In fact, I have got something in London next week that I think this could be absolutely perfect for. But anyway, it's only half four and I am desperate for a mac and cheese. I'm not sure if we've got any milk in the fridge, so... Keep your fingers and toes crossed for me because it is definitely a mac and cheese kind of night. <laughs>